Okay, I'm going to lay on the table a view here um, that I hope we can have a, a constructive argument about at some point. It is my view that among um, protection of victims, prosecution of perpetrators, and long-term prevention that the most practical and ethically um, sound focus should be on the protection of the victims. Um, I, I believe that there are plenty of actors and plenty of efforts that will focus on economic development, poverty alleviation, economic opportunities, which we must address. But if you are to have focused anti-human trafficking programs, that the, the imperative should be to focus on those who are already being victimized. I actually think what we need to do is in that focus look at the longer term re-empowerment of people rather than the gratifying you know, liberation through a raid and placement at a shelter and then dropping the ball when someone is not helped in terms of their psychological traumas and long term employability. You asked me what I would do as an ambassador again. Um, I've done that, so I'm not seeking it, but uh, I did publish an article for the Georgetown Journal of International Affairs looking at the state of the field today. Um, I would say um, four things. Again, focus on protection, but the longer term re-empowerment of survivors. A balance between sex trafficking and labor trafficking as focuses, and I'm actually worried a bit that having been a, uh, you know, a, a figure associated with establishing balance after my predecessor uh, heading the human trafficking office was all about sex trafficking, that we may be swinging a little bit away from sex trafficking because people think it's been too much of the lurid focus of the movement. I think that we need to test which partnerships are working. It's all very well to talk about the essential partnerships, but many of those partnerships are like cotton candy. They are fluffy, sweet, colorful, and empty. And finally, um, business needs to be called to account um, to be part of the solution rather than part of the problem. This is why I like um, the California Supply Chain Transparency Act, which calls on businesses that do over a certain level of proceeds to post on the web what they are doing to audit their supply chains. It doesn't regulate them. It doesn't tell them what they have to do to fight human trafficking in their supply chains. It insists that they, be, they make it public, which would create a consumer, shareholder, and citizen pressure on them. That legislation become, should become national legislation.